So now in order to get inside of SAP system, we need to create a connection between our uh, SAP GUI, which is basically the browser. You can imagine it uh, like it is kind of browser. Like if you are browsing on the internet, you are connecting from your PC into the internet uh, servers that were, which are located somewhere in, in the world. So you are currently, uh, you have we have installed SAP GUI, which is kind of, uh, we can imagine it as a browser, which is going to connect to your SAP server, which is running on your virtual machine. So we will double click on SAP logon and our SAP GUI as SAP logon screen is going to uh, appear and we are going to create a new connection. So we hit on this new button and uh, here is this is the first screen. If we are going to create a local connection, we can directly hit on, on the next and let's put here some description. So what I will do, I will just paste my favorite description, SAP NetWeaver 750. This is local development system. In the application server, we should put here 127001, which is the local host, and then 00 for instance number, and the system ID is our NPL system. And right now you can see that our uh, that the finish button has um, is already active, so we can directly hit on finish. We don't need to, to do any 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 other uh, settings. So right now our SAP NetWeaver local dev system uh, should be running. So let's start by double clicking on this connection. So double click on that. And congratulations, because right now we have, uh, this is the proof that our SAP server is running and we are able to connect to that system, to that server. So that's great. Uh, so we have already uh, created a connection and we have proven that our SAP server is already running because we were able to call out our SAP logon screen. So in the next lecture, I will show you how you can, how we will connect inside or to the to the server uh, with the user and password, which is offered by this SAP trial system. So let's move forward to the next lecture.